Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Passive Skin and Subject Players to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. We are checking out the Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta. Now, this has been available to most people who pre ordered the game on pre two days previous to this. And um, my normal little tricks, tips, and tricks, and ways, and glitches uh, the way I tell people to actually go and download from another country did not work this time. I think they actually are on to us now that actually people have been jumping into the betas a little bit early. Uh, but they still opened up this beta two days later to open public. Obviously, there's plenty of people who've been probably playing this uh, to a high-end quality. I am not a first-person shooter guy. I'm just not good. I'm just, I'm, I've never been good at these kind of games. But I did appreciate Star Wars Battlefront 1 for its beta because these games sound and look so movie real that it's actually, it's a little bit creepy. But the first game had so little content that I was just, I, was, I looked at it and was like, there is no way I'm buying this. Even whenever I saw it for like pittance, for tiny amounts of money, I was like, there's no way I'm buying this. This is, this is, a, be this is a beta that turned into like an extended beta, and then they're going to make a sequel. And then obviously they have actually made the sequel. Now there is a full campaign mode to be brought out and shown uh, with some decent voice acting and some interesting scenes. It actually fits in the modern uh, uh, Star Wars universe, but this is just a multiplayer beta. This is going to be functional design, Watching people shoot each other and seeing the environments that they're going to provide to us. Dun 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 dun! It's a battlefront that we all want. It's the Star Wars battling front line, battling front line, sequel number two. Shit, this looks gorgeous. It really does look gorgeous. Oh, this is the story mode as well? Yeah. Hi players, this is John Boyega. Hey man, I'm getting paid to play this and talk about this, so you know, I'm I'm really I'm really into this game, but at the same time as they were willing to pay me to do it. So, you know, like I was willing to put my face everywhere and show up for this stuff. Um I always loved the Battlefront series, and uh, I'm gonna just talk over the top of Boyega this entire time because the dude respects a little bit more respect than actually being a shell for advertising for a game that has not yet come out. You're still talking, man! This is a Star Wars experience like none other, with greater depth and progression than ever before. I'm sure it is, John. Star Wars Battlefront 2 has nearly tripled the number of locations. Triple the locations, heroes. triple the heroes, triple the vehicles! Do you know why? Because the first game had sweet fuck all in it! In today's beta, you have a chance to explore Naboo, Fondor, Takodad. Star Wars Battlefront 2 class gameplay. Choose from the Assault, Heavy, so it really is it's a much higher uh, a higher level of customization and loadout design the kind of like the, the, what they implied was going to be in it originally but it's not all about the power of the individual the better you play the team the more battle points you learn to call in powerful reinforcements such as clone drums yeah I'm just gonna be playing droids battle droids a wide range of vehicles both on the ground and in the air Dodger Dodger Roger Roger Dodger iconic Star Wars heroes into battle in today's beta, you'll experience four. Nice! <clears throat> on Solo, and Rey. You want to fight? Each hero has unique ability to customize and master. Choose the right moment to Wait, I'm just realizing. And turn the time. So you got four heroes, but contextually, these heroes are never going to have met each other face to face. And just like battle points bring your favorite heroes into battle, they can also bring in your favorite hero ships, including the iconic Millennium Falcon, all with unique handling and upgradable abilities. Right, so even the vehicles are going to be hero ships. It's, it's like, I'm looking forward to trying the space combat. I really am. I mean, that was, that was something that people were, like, begging for, really? Um, because I think it was actually, it was going to be included in the original Battlefront 3 that was actually going to be cancelled. Like, was it not in the Battlefront 2 as well? With a small I don't remember, because now like, these, these are game types I never really got into. Of course, we've got our supply drops and loot crates all over the shop to look forward to. The rarer the tier of card, the more powerful its effect in battle. Woo! Signatures locked. Choose the right star card for the right situation. Get ready to fight. Star Wars Battlefront 2 contains five different... Heroes versus villains! In today's beta, 
you the chance to play three of them. Alright, so we got three out of the five. Objective based battles. Starfighter assault. Nice. Okay, so there is definitely at least one proper kind of like and galactic assault. Flight one and one that's actually gonna be ground on there. That's like that's very, very smart. They're actually kinda of like objective ground based. Flight based and then your abilities in the ground flight based. Play split screen co-op versus Oh, okay. Split screen co-op? That's a nice touch. I would never have thought that she would bring him back split screen. It's an untold story. The Emperor is dead. Help him bridge the events of the return of the Jedi and the Force Awakens. So what happens now? We retaliate, Commander. As Aiden Versio, okay. special forces soldier as equally lethal on the ground as she is in space, you'll fight for the future of the Emperor. So we do yeah, like I haven't been characterized as her. Kind of interesting. Want to find out more? Prepare to jump into Aiden's story yourself this November. This November. All right, sweet. So Jesus, boy, yeah, have you got like any more advertising stuff to say? Of what you experienced in the full game at launch. Until then, make sure you check out what's coming up in the daily. Boy, Yeager likes to talk. Challenges to keep you entertained, including rewards that you can carry over into the game's launch to get a head start this holiday. Now prepare to dive into the Star Wars Battlefront 2 multiplayer No. <laughs> Sorry, what? Okay. 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 I'm ready to play. Ready to play. Alright, with star cards. Why not? Zero and zero? Well, that's exactly what's gonna happen. All right, so it's stuff to actually. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, 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 we're not gonna do that. Oh, but we do have a crate. Let's open our one and only crate we're gonna get from this game because I'm probably not gonna play it enough to actually want another one. We got our daily crate to check out. Woo! And they got the in-game currency to spend. Right, our daily crate. What is it? Da 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 da. Hey! Interceptor curling system. Dodger, dodger. It's like it's that crate on his back or the weapon on his back. I like, I like the way it dances. Very nice. Um, yes, inspect. Equip. Uh, yes. I don't know why I wouldn't immediately equip it. And why don't we go in there and equip that? And, uh, yeah, there we go. So I've got some basics, basic bonuses for the first time I can check out the characters. Oh, that's delightful. We got our daily create out of the way. Um, I'm just, I'm really curious about just looking at the menu. Actually, the, the, even the menus feel a little bit tidier and, well, not tidier, a bit more elaborate and designed in. Than the last uh, than the last game came out. All right. Mm. Can I quickly link my account without having to do? Oh, it's already it's already linked it. Oh, that's all right then. <laughs> it's already linked it. Then it's fine. Let us play. Okay. Um, campaign. You watch a preview. You got multiplayer or you got arcade. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of multiplayer. Back to Zalt, Starfighter, or Strike. Uh, let's jump straight into the flight. Let's, uh, I want to I want to see what the flight's like. It's, it's the newest thing for this, so why not start there? Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm, my face is feeling really itchy because I'm tired. That's why I keep scratching up myself. I thought that I've got like, a, an actually itchy beard, so my face is kind of feeling weird. I'm talking so much, but it feels like my mouth is going slack. If I have a stroke in the middle of this video, somebody please remember to hit stop. There's a star destroyer duck for repairs in the shipyard. Vulnerable. Oh, oh shit! Defenseless. Oh, I'm 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 gonna have to go with the interceptor because that's the one that I actually have the bonus card on, isn't it? Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. What does the current system do? Uh, 
Oh, that's really nice. So uh, it like, cools down my guns if they overheat or anything, so that's actually pretty damn useful. Alright, gonna take that one. Interceptor. Oh god! Oh! <laughs> that was unintentional. Oh god, I hit the inversion. Oh shit. Probably need to boost out of the way there a wee bit. Ah! Ah, he got. Damn it. <laughs> Somebody's just like targeting on me the entire time there. You suck. You suck, man. I'm really not getting used to these controls though. I need to actually uh, change the invert controls. There we go. Invert look no. Invert flight no. What? I don't. I'm not too sure if I like this. Accelerate on left. Oh damn! I cannot aim properly. Oh God! It just cannot aim for shit. Oi! 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 Ah! Come on! <laughs> it turned into me. Alright, I'm gonna have to try the fighter because I don't I think the movement's actually what's caused me the problem. Ah, come on! It feels so awkward, the controls. I don't know what it is. It's like... I I want it to be... I want it to be in swapped around. I actually really do want it to be swapped around. I'm, what, what way can I change these controls? Because I nearly need them to be... Diff I need them to be different. I don't, I don't know what way to explain it. But I need them to be different. Uh, let's, let's try invert flight. I'm... Invert fight, invert look. I, and the thing is, I never invert look otherwise. But I'm for some reason, I feel like I need to in this one. I really don't like the acceleration being on this side. I want to look that side.
Damn it! <laughs> uh. I'll just switch out and try the bombers this time. Doing a bomb and run. Ah, come on! I couldn't couldn't invert myself out of the way. I think I need the speed of the fighter. I still go down there. I still get down there and actually fight. Come on! I'm mm, mm, not feeling great. Not feeling great at all. But like I said, I never met it. I never said that I was going to be good at this. I just said I was going to be playing it. Did I hit the wrong button? Did I boost into it instead of actually shooting a missile? Oh man. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're, we're gonna. I'm not helping at all. I really am just like limiting the team in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, we failed. <laughs> oh man. We've lost too many. We retreat to fight another. <laughs> that wasn't enjoyable. That wasn't. That wasn't massively enjoyable in any way, shape, or form. I did not have fun there. Because, like, the controls feel so odd. Like, whenever you're hitting that speed and you're turning, your auto roll and all that twist, quick twist and turn leaves you no longer locked on, and your locking is very, very poor. Uh, I just didn't. I didn't feel like that was actually. I didn't feel like I was actually effective at any point inside that match. That's what it was. I did not feel I did not feel effective or utilitarian in any way, shape, or form. And that could be just because I'm garbage at this. But that did not feel <laughs> that did not feel good in any way, shape, or form. But um, shit. It it looks like Star Wars. It sounds like Star Wars. It's motherfucking Star Wars. <laughs> um. I was wondering there what was going on. And back in the multiplayer, we'll try um, Galactic Assault. See how that goes. So this one's obviously going to have more players in it. Uh, the air combat is limited to 24, which is fine. I can understand. I think that's. Oh, we're going to Naboo. Go to Naboo. The land of Theed in Naboo, where Koth meets with Dong. Should have said Dong at the end there. Always miss the opportunity to add Dong. Hmm. Dodger, Dodger! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yes, I am so by. I'm so playing. Dodger, Dodger. Roger, Dodger. Hey, hey.
Where am I getting shot from? Where was I being shot from? Ah, uh, the one spot I wasn't looking. <laughs> I ain't where everybody was actually going to be standing, obviously. A vulture droid. Oh, that's right. So there's actually going to be people flying overhead as well in the middle of this. I think I was happy enough on foot. <laughs> Grenaded so hard. Ah, uh, the guy got us. He knew exactly where we were. The MTT has reached waypoint two. Further attacks must be intercepted. I want to stay with the heavy. I'm actually enjoying. It. I'm enjoying playing the heavy. Um, just because. <laughs> but yeah, I've got a little bit more health.
Kind of went a little bit too solo there. What is this? A tri fighter? Alright. <laughs> oh shit, okay. Am I piloting this? That's not good. Why do I do this to myself? Why? Ah, damn. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not cool with this. I'm not, I'm not enjoying myself. I never enjoy myself whenever I'm playing these kind of games, but I'll survive. Ah, uh, sorry, but my alarm's going off my phone. <laughs> ah, come on. There's a few too many of those guys. <laughs> Transfer of East Door controls completing shortly. Roger, roger, roger. <laughs> Run in the squad. Run in the squad. A lot of grenades going in there. Just the fact they knew there was going to be five or six results all down in one spot. That's not great. Uh, Josiah, you popped in the chat there. Thank you very much for joining us. Actually, here for the live chat. Um, yeah, the, it was very much like Titanfall, that kind of feeling where there was no real, um, no real game. It was just a small part. Um, I wouldn't say Titanfall started that, but there was actually a very poor representation here as well. Victory! <laughs> well, it felt mildly gratifying. Well, it feels like I actually, I feel, I feel like I actually did, did, did stuff there. I didn't, wasn't exactly the, the best person in the team or anything, but I felt like I did some progress. I made some movement. <laughs> Most kills, 38. Damn. All right. Well, I made up the level three. Yay! 
Oh no, I made up the level two. Never mind. And then of course all the stuff that you're gonna be unlocking along the way. Okay, okay. I have to progress was made. I can feel it. I can actually see I can see the pleasure in actually making progress this way. Uh credits earned. That was a nice bunch of credits earned there. Yeah, not too bad. Um are we going am I gonna go am I doing this again? No. Alright, we'll try someone a little bit different this time. We'll try the specialist, actually. Sniper times. Let's see if we can sit back and shoot things from a distance, which is never going to work. <laughs> never. No, it's just not. Oh, cool. He's a Wookiee. He said you can't play as a hero, but you can't... Well, you're not... Well, you're playing as a Wookiee where you're not playing as... You're not playing as uh, Chewbacca. Jesus, that's so weird that I could not remember Chewbacca's name. No cards available, no cards available. I do actually have another box to open as well. I want to actually play, you know what, actually I need to quit out of this game. So I need to try, uh, yeah, quit. I need to quit because I want to play the, the last of the three types I haven't actually played yet. So I need to get onto the third one. Just, to, just for the fact to do the comprehensive coverage that this first play experience would actually be uh, of playing Battlefield 2. Where uh, I'm sucking and then I'm sucking even more. Hey, two crits. Right, we'll, we'll get to you in a second, crits. We're just going to play one more round. Alright, so we've done Galactic Assault. We've done Starfire Assault. Now we need to do a strike. Don't know what a strike is. I'm assuming is a strike kind of like almost a teamed up versus AI mission. I don't know, but I'm curious to find out. Looking forward to trying this. It doesn't seem like to be the main mode, though. It actually seems to be like one of the side modes. Sorry. Like I said earlier on, I had a bite to eat and then I started to feel tired. But the the, the game is actually getting me excited. It's not that I'm. Uh, like, I'm just lying. I'm kind of like not so excited because the game's not that massively interesting to me. He heavy. Heavy with a big rifle. Yeah, I might as well I'll play to my strengths. Play to my strengths. I'll play to the I'll play with the heavy. That's where I should be. So I'm kinda of getting used to the secondary weapons and the zoom controls and everything else. But um yeah. Not, not, not feeling bad. Wookie Warrior. Rocket jumper. Do you like the crossbow in that? <laughs> the laser crossbow. Right, right, let's see here. Right. Impact grenade, combat shield. The first order got wind of an artifact here in Takodana, and they're sure to do everything they can to get it. Protect the package and do not let it reach the extraction point. This does look absolutely fucking gorgeous, by the way. It looks and sounds absolutely gorgeous. What? Oh, so I was getting shot from behind as well. Yeah, skip. I don't have to sit and stare at that. Um, I think this is actually going to be... The Heavy's going to help me. It's going to be a useful choice for this. Because, um... Being that tied up. What?! I got a great experience of the strike. So obviously the strikes are actually like a point defense thing that actually if you lose the first point, the whole thing falls apart. 
What the hell? Like, we literally, they just got into the base, and then by the time we had spawned back in again, they had already taken it? What the hell happened there? Well. I, I'll open my crates now, I suppose. Because that was, that was my first experience of the strike. Run in, run around the corner, kill one dude, get shot in the back of the head, and it's all over. What? No, I'm not doing another run of those. It's like, are you sure you don't want to play another game of that? Because it was really quick. I was like, I don't care. I really don't care. Just, just let me out. Just let me out. Some wonderful backing tracks. Uh, beautiful landscape. Uh, it's, it's. There's a lot to like. I mean, honestly, I'm not. I'm not disliking this at all. And the fact that I know it's got a campaign is going to go along with it. And we got that whole thing to look forward to. I, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not against this game so far. Loot crates be damned otherwise. Oh, oh, starter crates. Okay. All right, so what would you going to go for our heavy first for actually getting our first level in heavy? Let's see what we got here. Ta-da! Supercharged Sentry. MVP select three. Yeah. And a new gun? That's actually, that's pretty damn good, is it not? It's pretty good. They're all average drops, though. Can I have Brawler? Or supercharged Sentry? Huh. So what's so special with the Brawler? Health gained. Ah, right, so that's the reason why I was actually surviving half as long as I was. Eh, that's good. I actually appreciate that. But I can't do both of those, so it replaces my uh, gun with the another gun. Ah, right, so there you go, supercharged entry. So I can do more damage, but um, I can't, I probably won't be able to defend as much. Victory pose? Okay, cool. Do I get the, do I equip that? How do I equip that? Eh, we'll see this one. And a common weapon for heavy. Okay. So if I go to the characters and see how that works out, uh, heavy, select, yeah, unique abilities. So I can choose the other weapon. Yeah, sweet, there we go. So I've got this, I've got this kind of like chain gun weapon to use, uh, charge victory pose, and I have that one, sweet. Hello, admittedly, that's only if I ever become MVP, which is never going to happen. <laughs> And let's open up our other crate. This one's gonna be for the Starfighters. It's gonna be literally like autopilot mode, because you're that bad. You need it. Tactical jammer. Reinforce hull. And cooling systems. Already, that's exactly the same as the one I already have, is it not? That's a card already attached. I'm assuming there's actually like, other like strength of cards for that same thing, and then it just keeps the one that's actually the best quality. Reinforced hull. Gotta keep yourself alive. Plus ten percent. And a tactical jammer. Does that do? Again with the increase the health. Oh, increases enemy lock time. Nice, that's useful. So I did find myself getting hit a couple of times there. So, that was actually nice. Uh, well, both functional things you can use. Um, In-game currency, I have nowhere near enough to actually buy one of these crates yet. But, um, we'll take a look after... We take a look at the collection here. As uh, so the collection actually lists everything that you've gotten so far, is it? Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, uh, okay. So this actually because the ability replacement cards are listed separately. Detonate to charge. Barrage. Okay. You can get on board with any of these. Cool. So that actually, this has actually been an interesting kind of first look at it. Um, there's obviously going to be. A few more playthroughs of this over the next couple of days, but I thought I'd just get my first looks, my first opinions, my first thoughts out as fast as possible, and then get a little bit more time in with it. 
I'm not, I'm not offended by this version of the game so far. I mean, this is the same feeling I had whenever I played through the first Battlefront. I'm curious, and I, because I know that there is a campaign coming, and because um, I'm already seeing two very, very different types of play with the ground combat and the sky combat, I'm not as uh, perturbed as I was whenever I first played the original game. And with the promise of many more locations, many more characters, and many more places and events from the entire Star Wars canon, I'm, I'm not I'm not angry at this game in any way, shape, or form. The loot crates actually aren't that big of a problem for me, really. They look like they're obviously going to be something that if you wanted them faster, you can get them faster. Otherwise, you're going to have to grind the shit out of them to get the stuff. And it does directly affect the combat. So I'm sure there's a lot of people who are going to be pissed off about the unbalancing of it, but the same time is like it's unbalanced because it's like <laughs> there's gonna be people who are gonna be very good at using those particular weapons and people who are just not and we're blaming it on the fact that they don't have it at all in the first place. So yeah. Um that was actually enjoyable to play through. Uh the Battlefront beta will be going for the next two days from October sixth through to October at uh, the the end of October eighth. So I highly recommend you go and check it out. It's there, available. Everyone can try it. If you wanted to battle me on it, you want to get into a party together and see how badly I suck, or carry my ass through a mission so I can see the end of the strike, maybe, or see the other versions of these events actually winning on either side. I might be blind looking, just get a team that will carry me otherwise. But if you want to join me, it'll be past each of Durham UK. It's a UK account that I'll be playing on. And of course, you can always send me a message or comment underneath the video below with your own tag. If you have your tag posted underneath, there'll be plenty of people watching the video that'll actually want to meet up with other people anyway. So you can get get the community together. In fact, do you know what you can do? You can actually go and join the Discord server for Pastiche of Skin, and you can party play that way if you feel like it, because the Discord link is right beneath the video. So if you enjoyed this, thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked. Hope you commented. Hope you did all the things that are absolutely required. Notifications, likes, subscribes, whatever it is. Whatever it may be in the source that you actually caught this on. And if you haven't been watching this on YouTube, there's a button up there. I'd really appreciate you hitting. And there's a playlist here, which probably will include... Oh, do you have anything from the original Battlefield? No, I don't. There's actually going to be a playlist here. Over the far side will be the most recent video. And right here will be a video just for you. Based on the user analytics and the things you actually see on YouTube and the things you choose to watch, it will pick a movie, video, a clip, or something I've made for you that you will enjoy. But I highly recommend you click on that one right there. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next beta. Bye!